Ableton also has this cool little tool called Spectrum and it is right here and it gives you a um, spectral readout of what's happening in the music. We can move so, we can move so slow, push away from, push away from me. notice there's this huge cut over here um, that is where the sonic spectrum drops off and it's right at 20k you'll see this little readout when I put my mouse over here you'll see that's 20k if you read here while I put my mouse here that's 20,000 Hertz. Now, if I play my original, whoops, if I play my original file, you'll see the same drop off here. And here's what I'm going to show you. We're going to listen to that again, uh, or listen to the original version, and look at the bass response. We can we can move so slow, push away from, push away from it all. We can move so. Actually, I need to change this. I need to put this on my master output, so it's reading both instead of reading the one channel. Okay, here we go. So you can see here the bass response is not identical between the two songs. So I've still got a little bit of work to do in the low. So that's one way of sort of telling what the response is like between the two different versions in uh, in the low frequencies. You can also look at the high frequencies and mid-range frequencies. One of the things I'm going to do is change the block size to a lower number. This just smooths out the display a little bit so we don't see quite as many peaks all over the place. Let's listen again. We can move so we can move so slow, push away from what I'm going to do now is go back and forth and compare from one to the other. I'm going to be switching back and forth. And what I'm going to do is look at the changes in this EQ curve to see uh, what's happening different in the different EQs between the two versions of the song. So one of the things I noticed right away is that the S's are a lot more pronounced in the original version. So I could probably add some more highs to the vocals so that they pop out. I'm going to circle that for you as it's playing this time. We can move so, we can move so. So 
so by analyzing the difference in that EQ curve, I can pick up on some of the things that I might want to go back and change. You can also do that by ear. You could have heard that completely by ear and decided to go make that change. Um, and, uh, and I recommend doing both. Uh, I really just use the visual readout to double check myself to see what changes I might want to go back and make.